Right, here's the clip that we're going to use. I'm going to add in rain. First, what you need to do is right mouse button and then create a new fusion composition. During this test, I called it rain, so let's call this rain two. Create. Then we are going to drag this on top of the clip and we're going to make sure that it's the entire length of this clip. So in this case, seven seconds. Next step is going into fusion. Right now we only have a media out, but we're going to add in a background node. Make sure you deselect this first so that this doesn't get added automatically. We're going to do this manually by dragging it to the media out. And then this is our starting point. Click next to it to deselect it and add in this node, which is the emitter one, and then add in this one, which is the render one. And these will be added together, and that's fine because that's exactly what we need. Now, there's two things you can do right now. You can add in a merge node manually, or you can just drag this towards here, and you see we've got a merge node automatically, so that's the easiest way. Let's put the merge node in the left viewer by clicking here and you see this is what we already have let me close this one down to make it a little bit bigger so now we're going to change this because these are round and obviously the rain isn't round let's go to the render node and from the render node we go to the pre-generate frames and we're going to put that to a hundred and this will make sure that it starts straight at the beginning of this clip and then the second thing is that we need to kill the particles that leave view then afterwards select the emitter node so that's all what we're going to do in the render node click the emitter node and we've got five options here so we're going to start with the region and right now it's a sphere but i don't want it to be a sphere i want it to be a rectangle and i want to change the width and the height to make sure that it's outside of the frame so let's change the height a little bit till it's a little bit outside of the frame and let's change the width as well but we can't exchange it much more so we're going to do that manually and that way it's a little bit out of the frame which you can see if you put this on 25 percent so right now we've got more selected than the frame itself and that's exactly what we need then because these are round i want to change another thing which is style and change the style from point to bitmap and now it's gone but don't worry we will add them a minute so let's go to controls reseed and change the number from 10 to 100 and the lifespan is the number of frames so i said we've got seven seconds which means we've got seven times 25 because my timeline is 25 frames per second so that means we need at least 175 and what we don't need to do is change the lifespan variance so we can keep everything else as is. So let's click next to it. So it's deselected. And now we need to add in a polygon node. And I want this to be seen in the left window. And I'm going to add it in by clicking once, clicking twice. And now nothing is happening. And that has to do with the fact that we need to change the border width to make it visible. And I want to change the soft edge as well to soften it out. And I want to change the level. This is just a random number, but I want to change it to 0 0.28, which makes it very, very thin. Now this needs to be connected to the emitter node. So I'm going to drag this in and now it's over here. Now, If you want to see this effect, you need to select the merge one and put it in the left view window. And I want to change the rotation as well. So I'm going to select the polygon one, hold control, so I can change the angle of it a little bit. And that has to do with the fact that I want it to match from the angle that the wind blows. There you go. So this is it. And the reason for that is if I go back to the edit tab and I deselect this, you can see that the wind is, well, pretty much coming from here, as you can see at the water. So that's why I want the angle to be where it is right now. So let's go back to fusion, put this in the left pane window, and then there you go. But now it's solid, so I want it to move as well. So we need to go to the emitter one, and then we need to go to the inspector tab again, and then change the velocity. And the velocity right now is zero, and I want it to be set to 1.25. And I want to change the variance as well to around 0.2. And that already looks very good, but if I play it like this, we will see a black clip because the background isn't transparent just yet, but I'll do that in a minute. But first, we need to add in a turbulence node. So I'm going to select the emitter one, shift spacebar, and I'm going to find the turbulence one and click add. And that will 
added in between the emitter and the render one. So let me just drag this out a little bit to make it a little bit more clearer for you. And then with the turbulence one selected, we are going to click reseed and we're going to change the X strength to 0 0.15. And now, as I said, if you play this, you will see a black clip. So we're going to change the background. I'm going to click the background and I'm going to set the alpha from one to zero. There you go. So let's go back to the clip. And then we see a red bar over here. So it needs to render out. It needs to be blue. Otherwise it'll stutter. So I'm going to wait for that. And this all depends on how quick your video card and system is. And now as it's rendered, let me show you how that looks. Hitting P for the big screen, spacebar to play, and there you go. But something is off because the weather just looks too good right here. So I'm going to darken this clip by clicking it. These are the little touches that will make a difference. Go to the color one, select the bottom one because we want to change the clip. I don't need to add in another node, but what I do want to do is I want to change the gamma and I want to darken the clip to make it a lot more moody. Back to the edit tab, we're still not here. We need to add in a sound effect and the best way to do that is by going to artlist.io where you can find music and sound effects all royalty free. Unlimited licenses so you can use it for commercial purposes or private purposes. I've put a link in the description down below for two free months so make sure to check it out. I'm going to find rain and I'm going to add it in. So now that I've added in audio, let me show you the playback of this. And that really sells this effect.